Om Shanti. There is a beautiful story of a great revolutionary who ultimately turned towards spirituality and religion in a very dynamic manner. In 1908, there was Alipur bomb case and in that Arvind Ghosh was one of those who were held guilty and he was imprisoned for one year in Alipur Central Jail. He was a very bright student. He was sent to foreign countries for his education and he had cleared number of exams he came back to India and he worked in different colleges as professor but in 1906 there was partition of Bengal and that threw him into all the political and revolutionary activities. He gave fiery speeches. And in 1908, he was imprisoned for one year. He was even editor of few newspapers. But in this one year, he underwent certain changes. He received as if a divine call. He received the spiritual call and gradually he withdrew himself from all the political activities, from all the religious activities. He became silent, introspective, studied Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads or the scriptures. In his autobiographical notes, he has written that he saw Vivekananda almost every day for 15 days, who gave him some spiritual inspiration. So when he was released after one year, he was no more interested in any of the revolutionary activities. He went to two, three places. The Britishers were after him, but ultimately he fled to Pondicherry, which was at that time under the rule of France. And there he settled down for next four years. He was engaged in spiritual activities with a group of people gradually opened an ashram there and then spent the rest of the life in that ashram. So this is the story of a person who had undergone a deep spiritual transformation in that cell, in that filthy cell, in that unfavorable atmosphere and gradually developed disinterest, vairagya, for everything. He understood that there is something which is to be done within. There is some vacuum which cannot be filled by the external freedom. The political freedom is the weakest of all freedom. But the real bondage, but the real prison is within us the passions, the vices, unless and until one get rid, gets rid of all of these attachments, one cannot become actually free. The real satantrata, the real freedom starts from within. And that was his only passion after that. So this sense of disinterest, 
this sense of detachment came to him in that silence, in that solitude, in that introspective stage. It was the divine call to be a yogi, to be a rishi. And Baba wants us, Baba also wants us to become a rishi, a yogi. Rishi means seer. Those who see, those who have got divine visions, drishta, those who can see, peep into the future, peep into the past, peep into all three aspects of time. And Rishi is somebody who is filled with disinterest, vairagya. In today's blessing, Baba said, May you be one who has unlimited disinterest, behad, vairagya, and who uses all facilities while being unattracted by them and detached. To be one with unlimited disinterest means not to be attached to anything and to be constantly loving to the Father. So this detachment, nyarapan, from everything of the world and this pyarapan, loving only to one Father, this love makes you uniquely detached. If you are not loving to the Father, you cannot be detached and you will have some attachment. There are various methods of getting detached. For example, a depressed person is also detached. But that's a negative detachment. If he is given love, he may get attached again. Somebody is deceived by somebody. That person develops detachment. But then if that other person he meets and that person starts loving, attachment comes back. So Baba says, if you are not loving to the Father, if you are not loving to the Father, you cannot be detached. For Nyarapan, you need the Pyarapan, you need this loving, love towards God. Those who are loving to the Father remain beyond all attractions. That is, they remain detached. If you are attached to the Father, automatically the result is detachment from everything. Nothing can attract you. This is said to be the stage of being immune, nirlep stiti. Nirlep means immune. You develop that immunity, you become insulated. Nothing can affect you, nothing can touch you. You become impregnable. That nothing can penetrate, impenetrable. And not being not being one who is going to be influenced by the limited attractions. Those who use some creation or facilities while being immune to them are Rajrishi who have unlimited disinterest. So, Baba wants us to become Rajrishi. Rajrishi means who is Detached. Rajrishi means one who is loving only to the father. Rajrishi means who has got unlimited disinterest. Rajrishi means who is immune. Rajriti means not attracted by anything of this world. So we will discuss something about Rajarishi. How to become Rajarishi or how to develop detachment. In this Brahmin life, if one wants to progress at a very fast pace, only two things are needed. One is purity, very high purity. Because with purity, yoga will become very easy. And second is Vairagya, detachment, dispassion, disinterest. 
द इंटेंस द वैराग्य द इंटेंस द डिस इंटरेस्ट यू विल स्पीड द प्रोग्रेस वुड बी वेरी फास्ट एंड इफ अ सोल इज अटैच टू हंड्रेड थिंग्स पर्सन्स थिंग्स प्लेसेस इवेंट्स सिचुएशंस सर्कमस्टांसेस डिजायर्स ambitions you cannot progress the intense the vairagya the intense would be the spiritual progress and to develop this disinterest you need to understand things and the best thing to understand is the defects or damages caused by attachment there are certain defects or damages disadvantages in all attachments especially sensual pleasures especially bodily attachment especially if suppose somebody is getting attached to some person we might give spiritual reasons but attachment is attachment a sister may get attached to another sister staying in the same center a brother may get attached to another brother staying in the same room or in the same department a brother may get attached to senior sister because of her sustenance a senior sister may get attached to junior brother because he is very loving and totally dedicated a young sister may get attached to young brother because they work together and share service responsibilities however pure all these bonds may appear on the surface there is underlying attachment an attachment makes one restless attachment leads to restlessness attachment leads to expectations ultimately breaking of expectation leading to sorrow and one gets disheartened the intense the attachment the more would be the pain pain of separation so all the attachments have certain defects first they cause addiction we get addicted to people persons if you are working you want that person to gather if you are going somewhere you want that person to be together if somebody is going to murli we are waiting for that person to come then only we will go if you are waiting for yoga going for yoga we wait for that person going for walk we need somebody and that's a very subtle attachment to persons things to some eatables anything attachment can be to anything by by saying creation and facility sadhan rachna one can get attached to them so all attachment cause a very deep addiction second every attachment brings pleasure happiness but that pleasure is one tenth and the ninth part is sorrow only one part is happiness pleasure and ninth part is sorrow third all attachment bring temporary happiness no permanent happiness very short time short lasting and after that that happiness turns into sorrow in bhagavad gita there is one statement where god says all happiness 
which are like nectar in the press in the beginning they become poison at the end all happiness which is like poison in the beginning they turn into nectar in the end so this is all temporary only for a short while after that there is a huge period of unhappiness so no way that this is a very temporary happiness very short lasting happiness this attachment could be to anything as i said to persons things objects events memories future anxieties future worries or anything anything another thing about attachment is that all attachment leads to craving if you don't get that object it leads to intense craving you start missing that person that thing suppose person is eating for example which is a f- most favorite dish mm-hmm. something sweet jalebi almost every day okay for one month after every lunch he is served one jalebi now after one month he is not served what happens he starts missing a craving starts inside a craving is created talab so all attachment lead to craving and cravings are very intense and don't think that craving are just psychological they are psychosomatic they affect body and psyche both mind and body they would the body will demand it just as lust leads to sensual craving in the similar manner attachments also lead to craving and these cravings are very dangerous they will force the person to do that thing which he doesn't want to do they are so intense so powerful then fifth all attachment are deceptive deceptive means they deceive they are not what they appear to be very attractive they deceive you you are cheated by them raj rishi is someone who is free from addictions who is free from all these cravings all these temporary pleasures when you realize in depth what is all this then you get detached and the journey towards becoming raj rishi begins other thing is this attachment they lead to repentance pashatap they lead to repentance they lead to guilt consciousness you feel guilty why i did this i shouldn't have done this half of the time is spent in thoughts of guilt consciousness and a guilty mind cannot do purushat and a guilt consciousness cannot lead to intense effort so all attachment would lead to guilt consciousness and one more thing attachment is the enemy of gyan attachment is the enemy of gyan if you want to become gyani you cannot afford to become attached to anything because a single attachment will lead to the fall a single attachment person is attentive for 24 hours he is unattentive for just 1 minute in that 1 minute maya will come in today's murli baba mentioned about maya to how many people it comes baba asked the question how many souls maya is coming okay if it comes it's fine but you should be able to recognize it otherwise you will be like that sita who will be, who is landed up in the cottage of sorrow and thus started crying there and then you go on ventilator and you suffer baba talked about ventilation 
I am talking about ventilator because the earth is on ventilator. You become seriously ill, critically ill. So the stage becomes very, very bad. Baba said, even if one window, that exhaust, even that ventilator is open, Maya will come through that. Forget about that. Even if the door is closed and there is a small gap below, <laughs> the Maya can enter into that. So you have to see that if the door is closed, not just that door is closed, but see that there are no gaps also. Apply some sticker so that nothing can come. Even if there is a single attachment, they would be fall. This is a very intense path. And we are surrounded by the ocean of attachments and attractions. We get attached to everything. If I start using this pen for one hour, I feel attached to this pen. If I use this board for two, three days, I will feel this board is mine. I will not give it back. It's mine. I will keep it in my room. Everything. Let me use anything. If somebody gives me something and then I start using that, I get attached. So, we are all surrounded by attachments. That's why Baba said, get, there is only one method, love of Baba. Only this method can make you totally detached. Otherwise you get attached from detached. If suppose I develop detachment from this, I get attached to this. I catch this. If I get detached from this, I catch this. Like when they carry that arthi, the one shoulder pains, they root another shoulder. You know, that buyer they call the dead person, dead body they carry four people. So they keep on changing shoulder. So in the similar manner here also you keep on changing persons. If A has deceived B, B says this A is very bad. After that I will not love anybody. But then C comes. Then B is attached to C. Then C deceived. Then D comes. Then B is attached to C. This goes on the whole life. <laughs> this man is bad. This is one woman. She is deceived by this man. She says that this man is bad. I don't want man. But then another man comes. She is attached to that. Ah, we are attached to anything. Everything. Gift and praises. We are attached to praises. If somebody praises me once, I want him to praise next time also. If he doesn't praise next time, I feel, what? Why you are not praising? Praise addiction. So, Raj Rishi is somebody who is detached, unattached, who is nirlep stiti, who is immune stage, and who is very strong, no mental cravings. He is not slave, but he is the master. And attachment leads to slavery, emotional slavery. You become gulam, emotionally slave. Raj Rishi is means Raj, means Raja, means King, means Emperor. He is the master. He is the landlord. So be the master, be the king, be the emperor, be the Raja. And Rishi also, who is detached, who has nothing to do with anything. So, today's blessing is this, may you be the one who has unlimited disinterest and who uses all facilities while being unattached to them and detached. So this is something about Raj Rishi. Om Shanti.